Hello everyone. Welcome to Controllers Tech. Today, in this video, I will show you guys, some basic DAC working. First I will show what digital to analog converters are used for. And then, we will create a sine wave using DAC in SDM32. Digital to analog converters are basically opposite to ADC. They convert the digital signal to the analog signal. And as the sine wave is the best representation of an analog signal, that's what we will create today. Let's start with the cube ID first. I am using STM32 F446RE. F103C8 don't have DAC, so I have to use this one. Let's set up the cube mix. First things first. I am using the external crystal for the clock. Next, select the DAC configuration. As you can see here, the pin PA4 is selected as DAC out pin. By default, output buffer is enabled, and there is no trigger. We will keep it like this for the first part of this video. Next, set up the clock, and once done, click save to generate the code. Here is the generated main.c file. Before starting, let's see the document provided by ST on DAC. As you can see the formula here, to calculate the DAC output. The ref is 3.3 volts. DOR is the value that we don't know. Max digital values are given below. Depends on what resolution you use. Let's start programming now. First of all I am creating a variable. 0.2 is going to be the output voltage. That is DAC output value. We need to create another variable to store the respective digital value. Inside the main function, first start the DAC. In this while loop, I am going to do the conversion from voltage, to the digital value. To do so, we need to make DOR as the subject of this formula. Once done, we need to set this value to the DAC. And then increment the value. This process will continue with some delay. Remember that the value can't be more than reference voltage, and that is 3.3 volts.
looks like we got some errors. Let's compile it again. So the code compiled successfully. Time to flash it to the board. Just create a debug configuration. Observe the reading on the voltmeter, and on the oscilloscope. The voltage output from the pin is changing every 750 milliseconds, and it doesn't go higher than 3 volts. Let's increase the time delay, so that you can observe the change properly. Here we go. The voltage is increasing every two seconds now. So this was the basic idea, about how to use the DAC in SDM32. Now we will create a sine wave using the same. This process is mentioned in the same note. But before this, we need to make some changes to our setup. First we need to select a trigger timer. I am using timer 2. Also, we will use DMA for this entire process. This will keep the CPU free. Next, go to the timer setting, that you chose. This setup will decide the frequency of the wave. And therefore is critical. I am using timer 2, which is connected to the APB1 clock. And this is running at 90 MHz. I am selecting the prescaler as 90. This will reduce the timer clock to 1 MHz. Using ARR as 100 will further divide the clock to 10 kHz. I will explain this particular setup in a while. Select update events here. This is it for the setup, let's generate the code now.
include math.h, so that we can use the sign function. I am creating an array, to store the digital values of 100 samples of sign function. We need pi value. This function here, will do the conversion. Let's take a look at the PDF again. This is the formula, that we are going to use. Number of samples is going to be 100 in our case. FFF is for the 12-bit resolution. Now, in the main function, we first need to start the timer. And then, start the DAC with DMA. Now, let's talk about the frequency of this wave. As I mentioned, the APB clock is at 90 MHz. And using a prescaler of 90, we'll divide that clock by 90, making it 1 MHz. Using the ARR value 100, will further divide the clock by 100, making it 10,000 Hz. According to this application note, the frequency of the sine wave is equal to, time of frequency divided by number of samples. In our case, we have to further divide this value by 100, because we are doing 100 samples. Which gives us a frequency of 100 Hz. This is the frequency that I am expecting for the sine wave to have. Oh sorry, I forgot to include the function to convert the values to digital form. Let's build and run the code. You can see the sine wave being produced, with the frequency of 100 Hz. Let's increase the frequency now. I am dividing it by 10, that will increase the frequency by multiple of 10. Now the frequency should be 1000 Hz. You can see the frequency is 1 kHz.
This is it guys. I hope you understood the video. I will do more tutorials on DAC in future. We will generate the triangular waves and noise waves too. You can download the code from the link in the description. Keep watching.